And after traveling a mile more on foot, they arrive in Mick's Maple Grove. Look at these maples. They're all over the place. Here, ancient maples deliver the sap Mick's after. And he's got tools for the harvest stashed nearby. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah. Yeah, that is what we will put our surf in. This is a drill to drill in the maple. And this is the plug, which drains the sap. So now we got to find the best tree. With tools in hand, Nick's ready to begin the harvest. Hopefully, I can get some syrup. But before he can start, he seeks the kind of wisdom that often guides his decisions in the wild. This is how you find the right tree. You come to the grandfather one. You look into the eyes, and you ask it, where would be the best tree for me to go pull out some of the elixir juice? Not you, no problem. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. No, you probably had it done too many times. So which way? You point the direction. Down that way, huh? Yush. Following his mossy friend's advice, Mick locks on to a solid maple and gets right to work. I think this is really my best choice. Using his old-fashioned hand drill, Mick must penetrate the outer bark, creating a hole approximately two inches deep. I'm going through the bark and I'm getting to the cambium layer. That's where the juices flow. Works pretty good. Breaking through the cambium layer. Next, he must insert a tap to begin draining the sap. That is beautiful. I gotta hang the bucket. <sighs> it's a simple process, but one that involves a whole lot of patience. Hope I picked a good spot. We'll see. <laughs> 